ready. Yep. Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here. This is Acrylic Painting Monday. And what's so neat about today, what we're, you guys are going to love it, is that we're going to take what we learned from the last two weeks of, uh, from uh, the old masters here, and we're going to apply it to a photo that doesn't really have any color or anything in it, just a couple of flowers and a glass face. But we're going to see if we can't take what we've learned and create something from just you know, pretty much ordinary photograph into some sort of really spectacular painting. Can keep it simple, but spectacular. That's our goal. All right. And I think you're going to be surprised how it comes out. We're going to cover a lot of things about glass and we're going to give a shout out to some of you. I love the fact that uh, some of you, a lot of you painted the pansies we did from last week. Uh, this is exciting when we get such group participation. And uh, if, if you haven't joined our uh, uh, Facebook club, uh, Curly Painting with Ginger Cook on Facebook. Uh, you know, it's a free club to join. It's a place where you can share your artwork, and we love to see what you're painting. And, you know, on, on Wednesdays and Saturdays, you can put some of your own work in, and th that gives us an idea of what you're all interested in, okay? So it's a good thing, and our moderators are here to uh, to make this live show fabulous. There'll be a, a, a giveaway tonight, won't there, John? Some sort of giveaway? Yeah. Yep. There'll be a giveaway for our the audience that's participating with us. We'll fill you in on details. A live studio audience. Live studio audience. Okay, so we're back to that. So let's get right down to our table and talk about what we're going to do. So this was the photo that we found. Just a couple of uh, uh, poppies and a glass face. And but remember that the, the week before last we did this, uh, this one. And a lot of you, well, I don't know, we probably had 50 of you guys paint this, maybe more. And then we had the pansies last week, but they're done similarly, you see, in a similar style with the light coming from the, here in the dark corner. So almost a checkerboard pattern, light, light, dark, dark, yeah? So we're gonna see if we can't apply some of that to this painting, see what it comes out. Just so you know, in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting, where we do uh, a little, uh, we get more intense instruction, here's what the one that we released uh, uh, was it la last week or the week before? Mm, yes. <laughs> and, uh, well, it, and then that also is done by, you know, the same old art, German artist, Max, and I forget his last name. I'm sorry, you guys. His name is hard for me to remember. But anyway, you can look. Well, somebody, I bet one of our Liz's knows who the, the yeah, last one name One of our Liz's is. knows everything. It knows everything. But anyway, you see, they're all done the same way. All right? So let's see if we can't take... Um, our uh, our imagination and and kind of do our you know this is where you're going to be able to do your own thing but still kind of keep it very uh, painterly that's a word we're looking for painterly okay so that you just didn't copy a photograph because we have a photograph we don't need copies of photographs yes and yes okay so I'm going to put these two away and if you haven't done these two tutorials they were about, you know the week before this the week before this these are the pansies and the violets so. If you haven't done those, we suggest you try them out. All right. Now, uh, I have a, um, a background that's just painted just some different, uh, you know, kind of a dark green. There's some paints gray in there, a little violet, just, just some sort of a dark background. If all you had was dazzling purple, that'd be okay. You just want some sort of dark background. Now, we're not going to put the tulips on yet because the thing about glass is that um, glass is uh, this has got to be so obvious you're going to laugh but whatever's behind it the background you're going to see in the you know because the grass is glass is obviously transparent so if you have a glass face for instance like this here's a glass face and i put it here so what do you see but you're not even if there were water do you see how we um you can see the um the, the color of the background but if we had a a green background then you'd see that you see not necessarily the exact color but you'd see that so keep in mind that when you're painting something and even if this were like a table see how the bottom part is darker so keep in mind that even the even though there's a slight color distortion there's got to be some of the background color behind your glass i think that would if you want to say it's glass okay yes does that make sense we thought it did. We went all the way. We had to look for that vase. It's been a while. It took an hour and a half. John, John, I said, find me a glass vase. <laughs> he spent for hours looking for one. <laughs> we have one. Okay, so I'm going to just get this out of the way. Now, 
I like the background that I did on this. I really do. I want to do something similar um, as far as the uh, colors go. So the colors I've put out are, uh, oh, and let me just get our color chart for you. Uh, let's see, where'd that go? It's inside the quintessential color mixing journal. Yeah, it's inside our color. Uh, one of the questions that comes up all the time with people when we do surveys is people say they want to be able to mix colors. And um, our quintessential color mixing journal is, is neat because there's all these videos and you make it yourself. And we're going to suggest if you've already started one that you add this chart. We're doing this chart now in all our tutorials this, uh, this summer and we'll continue to do that. Um, because I'm remember. using a Stay Wet palette, you can't really glue down uh, the co you know what the colors are, but just know that we've got phthalo green, uh, ultramarine, ultramarine blue, Thalo blue, and this is what it looks like when you add white to it. Dogenine purple, we've got uh, cad yellow light, cad yellow medium, and yellow oxide. We've got some uh, quadrochrome magenta, some cad uh, cadmium red light, and, um, and titanium white. So again, what we suggest you do is just kind of stop the video if you're watching this again, and try making your own chart of this. And that just with have your it in your studio, just with your colors, with whatever you've got, so you know. Because it is, you know, t the, here's the thing: TV screens and monitors and YouTube, uh, 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 well, iPads and telephones, you know, flip phones, and everybody's everybody's screen is going to show slightly different in color. Plus, we all see colors slightly differently. So the only way this really works for you, rather than you know, is to see what your colors look like. You know, and then if uh, you'll notice that we have a neutral gray here, this is very important um, because when you're uh, when if you were to you photograph your uh, color chart and uh, and you've made a neutral gray, this should show up gray. And if it doesn't, that means your camera is slightly off too when you photograph your painting. It's just sort of interesting. So anyway, let's put this away. Quintessential Color Mixing Journal, Acrylic Painting with GingerCook.com. You, if you haven't started one of these, um, they're easy to do, take some time, but boy, are they going to save you hours of agony trying to figure out how to mix colors. So we, we know this to be true. So moving along, I'm going to take a, some chalk, and I know that, for instance, at some point, I've got a, I'm going to have my vase, my vase is going to be in here, yes? So I'm just gonna just kind of slightly draw it, and I'm gonna know I'm gonna have a table like that, right? Nothing, nothing too crazy. We're gonna keep it pretty simple, right? But I know that on this side, this side I'm gonna have it lighter, and on this side, I'm down here on the table, I'm gonna have it lighter, and then as we get down, probably, I think what we're gonna have is something that sort of is doing something like this. So this is gonna be light. This will be darker. This will be where our shadow is for the base. Yes and yes. It's got to be fairly simple. Okay. So as I'm painting that, let's uh, let's uh, take a. Um, well, there's a couple things we could do. I think I'm just going to take a flat angle brush, one of the Bristol ones, because that's pretty. We could do. We could have done a round brush too. And if you have a round brush, stiff round brush, that's good, right? So let's let's start that while I answer some questions. What do you think, John? Well, there has to be questions asked for you to answer them. There are no questions asked? How bizarre. Okay. I know. So I'm going to take a little bit of purple and a blue. Come on up here like that. Maybe a little bit of white. Okay, there's that's too white. Let's try a little bit of yellow oxide. That's that's interesting. So that we know that's going to be my lighter side. A little bit of phthalo green here. There we go. So that's my lighter side here. Maybe a little bit of phthalo blue. Here's a lighter side. Let's take a little bit of cad red with that so that's not in your face. Red. Is the first poppy painting going to be a tutorial in the academy? Which first poppy? I mean, we've done thousands of poppies. Well, the poppy painting that I just showed you is in the academy right now. The, the big one, one that you used? The big one I just showed you, that's in the academy yeah, right now. It was released last week or the week before. Yeah. Now, if you were, for instance, as an example, um, paying it, you know, looking at your um, uh, email, uh, you would notice that um, 
that we every week we send out on Mondays, we send out what we call Ginger Cook's um, YouTube, YouTube Gazette. Gazette. And in it, we, we talk about what we're going to be painting tonight and also some other YouTube tutorials that might you might want to look at, plus some Academy tutorials. We show you the latest Academy uh, tutorials. And we also show you... Um, you know what some of our students have been doing and and what they've said so if you you may be in there and, and we post we've posted the winners to our last questionnaire maybe you're a winner of a free downloadable lesson how would you know because if you don't read the gazette you don't know you don't know you don't know. even know you you, you 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 really do you know you snooze you lose yeah and let's see a color i'm missing and i meant to put it out was uh -oh. burnt sienna I always wondered about the Burnt Brothers. Yeah, I still want Burnt Sienna out there, so let's put some it. of that in there, too. Okay, so you notice I'm keeping the brush pretty flat, and I'm putting in a little of this. And I just, just you see how I'm holding it like this and keeping it flat? Just making some curvatures here like that. These are some nice picks. This is some nice colors already, though, yeah? Yes and yes. Okay, so we know that we want it lighter as we go down this way. And, uh... Because you made yourself a map. Yes, because I kind of, yes, I made a color map. And, um... The other paint we might want for something like this would be, um, zinc white. And because it's more of a transparent white... Let's see, where do we go with that? Yeah, here. Zinc white might be another good one to use because it won't be as opaque as the um, titanium. It's more of a translucent color. And yes, you can't mix a zinc white. You can't make it. So yes, you do have to... Um, got to buy it. you got to buy it. Fill it up to the bar. Yeah, you really do have to buy it. Now that's a little bit bright. Let's put a little bit of brown with that. A little bit of white. Let's put a little blue with that. Too bright. Now, all of that's too dark. So rather than try to deal with that, I'll just take some off and add a little bit of titanium to it. Okay, and if I want that to blend in more, I would just use a bigger brush like this, uh, like that. Let's just come up here. We know our vase is going to go John, right will back they, in will here. There be a marathon soon. Well, I kind of, you guys. We were thinking about something. We want to know what you thought about it. Um, something a little different. You, everybody liked the bird hop, but summer with when Cinnamon's kids are out of school. Okay. That is like the busiest time for her because they can't, you know what I mean? That they're this, they they're doing so much uh, stuff right now. So we thought what we would have would be a bird sit-in. You won't hop. You'll just sit in with me, and we'll do a couple of them at at, um, at one time. What do you guys think? Have a bird sit-in. I think sit -in. a great idea. We thought some of you may have bought. We thought when we first did the bird hop that we'd be doing a bit more of these. And um, so we have some canvas. So we thought we have a lot of canvas that we were doing that with, and we were thinking, you know, we need we need more uh, bird hop uh, stuff. So um, let's see, let's just do that here. Let's get something a little darker. Let's get a little ultramarine blue. Could you smush your little rag now for my side view, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Let's just do that and see how I'm just um, finding the bigger brush, perhaps a little bit more helpful. Okay, let's just... Do you have to buy a neutral gray? Well, to make sure it's a pure neutral gray, you should. Um, I'll tell you what you may not realize. I, this came up today when I was doing some personal art coaching for somebody. A person was doing um, a painting, and they looked at it for so long, their eyes were going practically cross. They couldn't really see uh, anything anymore. You know what I mean? They just really weren't sure about um, anything anymore. And what are the things, a couple of things. This can happen also when you're looking at colors. If you stay at color, if you yourself stare at colors too long, what happens is is that you um, you will find that you're you're not interpreting. You can't see the difference in shades or values or anything. Your mind just doesn't see it. You're, you're, so the, the, uh, if you have a if you, you if you have a neutral gray uh, sheet of paper, it could be just. Um, there's a gray piece of paper. Just a gray piece of paper. You know what I mean? Like, it's got to be kind of neutral, kind of in between black and white, you know, kind of middle gray. You can actually, photographers have been using these for years. What you do is if you stare at it a little bit, it'll reset your eyes. 
you guys know that? It'll reset your eyes. So I think that's kind of, I think that to me is very helpful. Uh, I would think so, don't you think? And um, it's a little bit of yellow oxide, tiny bit. Hey, we'd like to thank cancer. Eric for the donation. Hello, talk loud. I'm in the muddled, mudded cooking. I think it might be middle, but mudded cooking chicken, green beans, potatoes, and chocolate chip cookies. I was not fair to tell us about that cookies. It's, uh, dinner time over at uh, Eric's place. Yeah, see, I'm not coming to Eric's for dinner, man. He's making cookies, man. That's just so you know. That's just mean, man. Tell us about cookies. I don't see any cookies here. Do you see any cookies here? I see here? no cookies. I see no cookies here. So that is so you know, rude. I don't see a box of cookies in my mailbox from Eric or nothing, right? No so, cookies. I just boo, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> they probably melt by the time they got down here. Oh my gosh! I'm telling you what, I ordered some these gummy things that's supposed to help you sleep, and they just came as one big package of melted gummy things. It was very distressful. Besides that, it wasn't very good. No, well, well they were terrible. Just you know, and you 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 know you don't order Godiva chocolate in the um, in the heat of the summer. In the heat of the summer, you know, and then blame it because it melted. So it's probably. Kind of the same thing, kind of my fault, right? That I I, I did that. So, um, you know, pooey, you guys. That's all I can say is that pooey. All right, so that's a little bright. Let's just take tone this that's down a, very a bit. That's very bright. Yeah, but that's all right. That's not, that's that okay. Right. It just that's, why is it all right? Because it's acrylics. Yeah, you just you just tone you it can down. Paint over it. You know, so what tones down the orange is is blue. See, that'll make turn it into more of a brown color. Let's get more of a purple here. Okay. This just sort of tones it down and let's get some some lighter colors here like this. A little bit of white. All right, so we said we wanted to just sort of tone this down a little bit down here at the bottom. And we've got kind of a nice, don't you think we've got kind of a, a nice background here so far? So, so far, so good. It's wonderful. Yeah, so we got we I got something just call here. It, call it good there and move on to the next one. Yeah, so we just kind of and here's our dark background and our light background. We'll put the shadow later. Okay, so um, let me just show you real quick. You see that? You see these colors that we've done? Kind very of similar. putting in very similar, right? I mean, it doesn't have to be exact, but kind of that's what we were going for. Is that look? So. Um, now, John, get ready to show people maybe some artwork from somebody while I dry this. Cause, because, you know, dry maybe this. Should, maybe? I will dry this. Okay. But I, I want John to just, uh, I like to give him, prepare him for that because <laughs> he gets um, a little defensive if he is told ahead of time. You notice that? Yeah, right? You'd notice that, right? So you could have told me, like, I don't know what your first clue was that we were doing a painting. And so I would think that uh, that would be pretty obvious, but maybe not. So anyway, um, and also I sprung that on him at the last minute. Last uh, minute you walk up and, oh, by the way, I have three photographs I want you to paint, three paintings I want you to share tonight. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said too, exactly that. <sighs> that's what I said. You see how we just all kind of blending that out there? What a little, all right, so, all right, so let's just draw, I'm gonna dry this, okay? okay. And John's gonna show you uh, some of the pants, just a, I just grabbed a few off of Facebook, um, not in any particular bunch. order, any particular person, three of you did it. I know a lot more of you did the pansies, but we want to share them with you. And while I dry this, what do you think? Okay, you're muted. All right, while the queen is gone, let me bring up Jack's painting of the pansies from, I think this is last week's show. Jack has a beautiful job there. Nicely done. Marjorie up next. I like that one. Kind of did a little vignette on it. Beautiful colors. Another great job. And then Eva went ahead and threw hers into a frame. Really sets it off. Once you frame it, that really finalizes the painting, doesn't it? So we'd like to thank those that uh, let us share those. And again, lots more did them. Just it was a last minute thing the boss came up with. Well, all right. So we're back. My microphone on? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not going to tell right. you. So one of the things I want to share is that when you're doing a floral painting, try to at least a couple of fingers down from the top. I'm going to have... 
two two uh, poppies kind of at this angle and then one's underneath it. We'll have a traceable for on our website tomorrow for those of you who would like a traceable for this and, and the actual photograph. You would feel better about it. So then we've got the we've got they've got some long stems here. So could I bring them up a little higher maybe? Ooh, we just erased just, it. I'll just I'll maybe I'll bring them up about that high because I want to um I want them to more. be kind of at an angle like this. Do you see that? Kind of like an angle. And then here's here's another one. So there's our two poppies. They're going to have some long stems. And then here's our, the bottom of our vase is going to be, let's see, I think I need a softer chalk. Once you dry something, um, it's a little more challenging to get the chalk to, the chalk pencils to work. They wear so. Don't I have some soft chalk? Come on, here, here we go. All right, so. I'm going to say that there's a, uh, here, let's just show you a trick. Because people say, I don't know, my my base got out of cattywampus. Well, cattywampus, I like, like that word, don't you, cattywampus? I love cattywampus. So, all right, so I'm going to say, here's where I want my the center of my base. So I'm going to draw a line, draw a line like that, okay? Like the A. See that? So that's the center of my base. Now, Whatever happens on this side Better should be on that side. So the, these two sides should be the same, right? And I'm going to draw a line like this. Boy, this chalk is just not happy. All right, let's try the softer one. I'm going to draw, there you go. So I'm going to draw a line like this, right? So this side here and this side here should match, right? So now um, I want to come to the top here like that and draw a line like that. This should match. This side and this side should be sort of equal. So let's just bring this down like that. Sort of equal? They have to be equal. <laughs> well, you know, they're just not sort of at all here. <laughs> so we're going to say here's the oval in front of the vase like this. Some of us will be getting and then, uh, out. And there's the, there's, the, the, there's the top of the vase like this. Now, if you don't want if you and, and where, where they pinch together should be the same too. Does that make sense? So and if you're not sure if it's straight, if you're freehanding this in and you're not sure if it's straight, just erase the chalk for a minute and just take a look at it and just look at it. See, you want the, now, all right, so that's, that's our vase. All right, now, if you were going to, now, what the problem here is that you'll notice that this is tipping down. So this, this top of the vase has to be the same here. Does that make sense? So that's the top of the vase. So you've got to have the the top be level to level it out, right? And so there's your base. Now, if you wanted it skinnier, just come in a bit more and don't make it quite so wide. You've got a lot of leeway on how to paint something like this. And the chalk just will, if you've dried it well, the chalk will just wipe, wipe right off, all right? Here's a question for you. Yeah. Do you always have to paint a vase standing on a surface like a table? Yes. Can you paint a vase on its own without having it appear to stand on its surface? No, because it'll look like it's floating. Well, maybe you want a floating vase. Well, no, you no, you don't want to float. Trust me, you do not want a floating vase. Now, it should have some kind of footing. <laughs> yeah, no, you've got to. It has to sit on something. It doesn't have to be a table. It just it could sit on a plate. It has to sit on something. Okay. So we're going to say that the water level is about that high. Here's the the base of our vase down here, like that. And um, the, these are going to be our flowers. So, I mean, that's pretty basic. I mean, it's pretty easy. Just nothing too scary here, right? Um, nothing too scary. I, don't, I, I hope not. So I'm going to take uh, some white paint. And the first thing we're going to do is paint our poppies white because we want them a color. And, um, <laughs> and they won't, they won't, a bright color won't show up here. Uh, and then they have kind of a raggedy thing like that, right? And I'll just take a little bit of orange and white. So this one's slightly different. And I'm going to say it's coming under here like that. And uh, these are pretty easy shapes. And um, there you go, like that. Just say that that's coming under there like that. And those are our two, those are our two uh, flowers. Yeah. So if you don't do that and then dry that, right, let's just get enough white paint where we're covering up the rest of it. And the reason that I want to, it's easier for me to paint the poppies over these 
over this than it is to um, um, to to paint them and then try to put the background around them. So I sort of I wanted to see how I wanted the background and what I wanted it to emphasize. Now, for instance, um, I might do some more background too. Then I see kind of where my poppies are. I might could fill in there, do a little something. I can work on that. So I'm going to take some um, uh, white paint. Now the thing about painting over chalk is, is that the challenge is that um, the uh, chalk acts like sand and it makes it a little bit, you know, sometimes it's a little bit harder to paint over chalk. So sometimes your best bet is to paint next to it. We're using a Bristolon brush and my friend Liz there um, tells me that she doesn't have a Bristolon brush. She doesn't feel she's painting forever and she doesn't feel she should, oh, well, you know, you're the professional. She said, you should have, everybody should have one of these brushes. They make such a huge difference. So um, we're going to just come up like that and say, there's our, there's our vase. Okay. I'd like to thank Sharon and Sally for donations that came in through the PayPal system. Thank you, ladies. Oh, thank you very much. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have a question here. How do you keep the greenery in the vase from being the star of the show? Well, you're going to have to wait and see that answer. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah, see? So um, so we're going to say that there's our, uh, that's, that's, we've got a rough idea of that, our vase. Now, we could have, um, ideally speaking, we could have maybe made the vase a little taller, but I like the long stems on this pop, these poppies. So I didn't want to do that. It was to just I, I just definitely didn't want to um, to have that be the case. So one thing you can do is you can come up with your your like your inside the vase color and thin out your thin out your lines in a couple of places. That can be nice. Would maybe would go all the way across. But if you can't paint, if you're having trouble painting, for instance. Um, a thin line, uh, paint a fatter line, and then it put put a color next to it. So we're gonna um, add some color down here at the bottom, and that's just a little bit of blue. Eh, it's a little bit of blue, and we're just gonna come around here like this, and we're gonna suggest that the bottom of the vase is gonna be a little darker down in here. All right, yes and yes. And since it's coming back up against the wall, uh, let's see, I wanna have a little bit of this blue here. Let's let's get some reflections here and here, like, ooh, too much paint. Let's try a little bit of light right there. Again, that's a little bit too much paint. If you're using too much paint, just take it off. If you've got too much, that's what the rag is for, is to wipe off the excess paint, right? So I wanna come up here and I, I like that blue color that I've got over here in the, uh, the right there. So I'm going to take some of this color right here and put it next to my base because I think that's sort of pretty, kind of this blue, blue smoky color, right? And I might take a little purple, a little bit of zinc white, and uh, pull some purple in here like this. So I want my wall to... Um, to be in the background, not 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 exact, but at least uh, something like that. Okay, so there you go. So I've got that, and then maybe I'll take a little zinc white and lighten this up a bit. Okay. So I mean, you don't have to be that. Um, I don't know what's the word I want. Uh, persnickety, but you do have to. Uh, if you can avoid, if you can avoid outlining, when possible, do that. You know, if you can avoid the uh, the outline of the of the um, uh, of the whole vase, so that you know, sometimes for beginners, we tell you to outline, but you know, we're just we're going to su suggest that there's. There you go. Again, we see the background behind here, and maybe a little bit of this gold. So I'm taking my time here with the background. 
because I'm going to say that that's there's some gold right there and it's right next to here. All right, so already it's looking a little more like glass. Um, I want to say that there's the my water lines right here. Okay. And before I get too far with this, um, to add a few shadows here, something a little darker right here like that. I want to say that there's a shadow under the vase here, maybe this purple one. And uh, a little magenta with a little tiny bit of ultramarine blue with that, make that darker. So already now my vase is looking like it's sitting on the ground. Yeah, sitting on something. Um, Not floating overhead. Yeah, the flowers are floating, but the, the, like balloons, but the vase is there, right? So I this is a matter of just keep layering a few colors. Now, it's true. I haven't painted this before. I'm sort of making this up as I go. But um, I still so, have references. But I still have a reference on 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 what the other man did with the uh, the lighter colors. What I'm trying to you know what, something I'm trying to do here, and um, and and what made his picture so cool was this this balance of light and dark. Okay, and there even was almost something kind of. Um, Let's just make this a little darker here, maybe. Oh, there you go. I'd like to thank Catherine for the donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you, Miss Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. That's, you know, you guys, that is so nice. We, you can't, you, we so appreciate it. And guess what? what? We got 22,000 views. No kidding on all the, our pansy painting from last week. So thank you guys for you know, uh, putting it in your playlist. I know that we got that because of you um, and uh, and for watching it again and for sharing it with your friends. That's the best we've ever done ever, ever. on a for one time view of something, you know, that somebody just viewed what we were doing. OK, so I really like that. So thank you very, very much. So I'm going to take some of this lighter blue color and uh, bring this around here now. So I want that in my picture. And knowing how to do these blended backgrounds, that we certainly have a, a whole academy. There's one on YouTube on how to do a blended background like this. I'm just using more colors. And um, so uh, we, you know, if you want to, if you're not sure how to do it, I would say how to do a, a still life background. That's a, I think I did some Van Gogh stuff with that. So there you go. So, but a, let's let's put a little puddle right here where maybe the vase leak. That's kind of fun, right? That's scary too. But we'll put that right there. And I'm gonna just do. I'm gonna bring this over this way, just through here like that, behind my vase like that. So far, so good. Yeah. Okay. So now we can put some uh, greenery in here. But I'm going to just take a second and let that dry for just a minute. And I want to add um, another layer of white paint up here on the flowers um, because I want them bright. And if you're if you uh, want you this bright, bright, you need white. Yeah. And uh, let's do the same thing here with the white. Now I could do the pink flowers. I could do orange poppies. Got some choices on colors if I want to do it. But I'm just going to say there's a there's our two flowers up there. OK. So that's nice. Looks like two clouds at the moment. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It just <laughs> looks like a couple of clouds at the moment. But that's all right. That's all right. Um, some of my favorite poppies that Van Gogh did this really neat uh, vase of poppies. And he had the I've never seen poppies quite like it. He had the um, he had all the little pods have like little pink buds and they were very tiny little pods and they all had pink buds and we may find ourselves doing that too. Just add the pink buds too because I think that's kind of pretty, right? So all right, so I just had to fix the side there. Okay, and then maybe here's a little zinc white 
Maybe I'm going to come up here because remember, this is my light side now that I know where my flowers are. Yeah. And maybe I'll come up here and lighten this up a little bit. So you can do more layers, right? Take zinc white is a good one because you can, you can, um, you can just think about smoke and mist. Uh, as when you're doing this, think about mist and smoky stuff, right? Yeah. So there you go. So I'm going to say that and let's, and I like this here, so I'm going to do it again over here. Kind of make pull that through there like that. So that again, that makes my vase seem a little bit more transparent. And here's a little blue down here too. Okay, so now it feels pretty glassy, right? So if you're talking about putting in the stems, you got to do them pretty small. But I would say let's do the leaves first. And just because, let's see, where's my photograph? I had it, I put it somewhere. Just because there's, um, where did I put the photograph of the flowers here? Is that it? Yeah. Just because this flower base is crammed full of stuff doesn't mean you have to do it. Okay, honestly, gosh, you guys, you're, we have photographs. You're not historians. You're not documenting as for a congressional hearing next week. You're just, <laughs> you know, it, it, you gotta, you, you gotta be the reader's digest editor here and say, what can I take away and not ruin the effect, right? What can I take away and not ruin the effect? So get rid of some of that green. So let's take some phthalo green and yellow, um, oh, nice and this uh, yellow oxide here to make sort of an olive green. Put a little bit of orange in it, cad red, cad red. So that's, and let's come up here like this. And uh, let's just create some, some, some leaves, green. maybe, a few little leaves. Yeah. Let's just create. Okay, so we know that we've got some, you know, kind of bring them down like this. Okay, let's, uh, maybe there's a leaf on this side of the vase, but doesn't, it came out on that side, right? So you're going to see it through. Remember, it's a, it's a glass, so you might see it this way. It's going to come down. You can play with that a little bit, yeah. And uh, again, we're just uh, making sort of a, a olive green um, stem here. And let's say I kind of like this here, like that. So let's say here's that little... Um, leaf like that. And if I want it lighter, it's just some cad yellow light here. I want this a little bit lighter because that's not going to show up at all. Okay. Okay, so there's some, we'll put something. And um, uh, let's make some darker, let's make a darker uh, green. Let's just get something pretty dark here. Some still want it olive though, not too blue. So you can put a little bit of the light orange in it. That will darken the green up. And we're going to say that in here like that, there might be some, um, you know, something a little darker. All right, and. Um, while I'm doing that, I think I will add a few little pods. They're like little football shaped guys. Okay, so we're saying that there's a few little pods already. It's sort of looking a little bit um, more interesting. Here's a little bit of um, Gold. Now, when you get that much paint, that's the yellow oxide color, kind of your gold color. Just lift some off if you get too much. I'm just using the corner of the brush. If, you, if you're not using a brush like this, I'm going to, again, I can't s t tell you enough that all the art stores sell them by silver. Um, they all sell them. And uh, let's see, I want something lighter here. I want my... Uh, I want my leaves to show up here. OK. 
okay so that I want them to show up in the vase and then I because you can do so much with that I'm going to say that right from this poppy here I'm just going to use my see what a nice thin line you can get and because I've had all this green on the brush I don't even have to mix a green really I just have to make sure my brush is flat I'm using my little finger to hold my hand off the table I'm not moving I'm just leaning back here and pulling There's, a, there's our first stem, and it's not really yellow enough for you to see it. So let's just, there we go. And let's say we want one here. Again, you don't need every, there's really just, I don't know why this poppy has all these stems, because really, <laughs> um, I wonder if I you know, that when I was about. looking at it, there's just really only, only two probably this one's coming this way now it can have some stems from these little funny guys right but really there's only just two stems yeah yes and yes and then she's got some that's gonna kind of going kind of this sort of this way that way now here's the trick you want to bring up a this brush when you're talking about an angle won't make the angle that won't make the it won't make the curve it's not what is that you were telling me about John a lawnmower that will um that zero, turn this yeah, zero this turn. brush does not make it turn like that does that make sense yeah turn on a dime okay so that brush is that okay I need to wash that all right so here let's try another one so this will not turn on a dime you're going to have to come up with um because it goes up and flips right back it down goes up and then flips back down that's in front of that one Okay. I mean that's the fun part. I mean that's kind of fun, isn't it? There's a there's one here, which we'll add. Yeah. It's just not orange enough. It's got to be more of an olive green, and then it comes off of this one, and uh, comes under. Well, let's just darken this this art darken this stem up just a bit on this side. Okay. So already you're just sitting there saying, okay, so I get it. I can take something away. I, I absolutely get it. So here goes the curve like that. Um, now these brushes, where did we get these brushes, John? That would be Amazon. They're model maker, model painting brushes. They're very high quality model brush, about $25 for a set of 17 brushes. Yeah, and, and and they're really you get a lot in there, and you know I have found them to be extremely helpful. Well, I'm sorry. Go so ahead. I, I said you want to have the stems uh, touching the bottom of the glass, um, if you can. At least close to it. Yeah. Or at least kind of looks like they're floating in the water anyway. All right. Go ahead, John. What was the... Oh. Uh, we'd like to thank Carrie for the donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you so much for sharing your talents. Apparently you're talented, my queenness. Oh, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We have a question here, which I had myself. I just waiting to see if anybody else was to ask it. Would you not want to add a third flower to keep it an odd number? Because that's what our brain's like. Um, could have. But, um, no. <laughs> oh, you're breaking a rule. No, that just, uh, you know. Um, you're breaking a the rule. There you are. It's kind of an unwritten rule that we like odd numbers, but once in know, a while. But you can do pairs. 
See, that's the other thing is your pairs are part of pairs. it. You can do you These can do flowers. single pairs and um, um, no pairs. Deco fun. So no, I don't think that's the name of them. They're what? a stiffer. They're not real soft. They have a good spring to them. The, the modeling brushes they have a good, good tinsel strength. Yeah. So, um, let's see, let's get that some green on there. Okay. And, um, uh, so as you can see there, and then we want to put the, a little bit more of a little wider lip on this glass like that. Okay. We're starting to do that. We want to suggest that there's some water in here. Okay, it doesn't have to be a full line, but it can be uh, just indication. Just to just you don't have to make just sort of suggest it. You know, you know that this is going to be brighter right there. Okay. And you know, if, if you don't have to outline the whole thing, but it is, it's not a terrible idea to, um, this is we might put a little shadow under this lip on the base. Okay. Okay, so some darker flowers in there, yeah. And uh, the the poppy buds are 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 fun. I think that they're, they're they're different and um, like for instance, I've got a bud here and then I had a leaf coming out this way. So I think I'll move the leaf so we don't just just confuse that with the poppy bud like that. So we'll say that that's a that's a leaf. And that's coming in this way but it's remember it's inside the glass so we'll just do that and this is coming up this way and um you know however you want to connect these um that's a little darker than i want that dark blue there but i'll bring that up there too just so kind of darken some of these up a little bit so all right so i've got Again, we haven't gummed it entirely up with leaves, but we can suggest there's some in there. Maybe something on the bottom, too. Okay, like that. Just to... Uh, again, just to say that that's the water line there, and it just indicated it in the back, right? Now, one of the things that Van Gogh did, which I liked, was he had that when he did these um, these little poppy buds, he did um, he made them um, uh, he made them pink. Done he made strawberries them strawberries and blossoms. Huh? Have you done strawberries and blossoms? Uh, have not. No, we've done strawberries. So here's a little bit of the magenta, and, and now if your green's wet, this will go muddy on you. This only works if your green is not, if your green's wet, red and green are complements. So let's let's brighten this up a bit, and um, see, there's our buds, right? And I'm um, it. It, and this was actually a pretty nice arrangement in the sense that there was a... He just overstuffed it in the... Um... Yeah, well, you know, the thing of it is he's a photographer, probably he's a photographer, not a, um, you know... Well, well, there's still common sense. I know. Well, <laughs> so could you get a, a vase of flowers maybe and light it and maybe do something like this? Ooh, could you? I think you could. That'd be fun. Right? Let's do that. Maybe we'll, do, maybe we'll show you how to set up a still life, huh? So let's just put some dark in here somewhere so that we see the vase. There Joy says, I'm attempting my first ever acrylic 6x8 hydrangea head. I have been learning how from your vids. Yeah. I had to start on color mixing with six colors only. Very fun. Oh, good. 
Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. And we appreciate the fact that you're that going you're here, for it. That you're going for it, right? If you have the right six colors, you can make a lot of different colors with six colors. And not all the flowers, all the buds have to be budding, but you know. They'd be budless. But I'll just put a couple of put a leaf going up this way. That's two. It's kind of almost mixing on the canvas here, like right? there's a leaf going up this way. All right, so now that is uh, here, not, just, just, just again, I you notice that the layer, do you see the layers? Curly dry darker, so you can you see me come back with the layers here. And I think I want to I want to put um, a leaf over the top of this edge here. Here, let's just do that. Let's just put that coming down like that. I think that looks nice. Just put some gold in it. Again, you're just suggesting these leaves, right? Okay. So while this is drying, yeah. While this is drying, let's um. Um, let's do the flowers. Let's see. Okay, now if you get something too wide, now what if you get a line that's too wide? Do you guys know how to erase? I've showed you, right? You know how to erase, right? Rinse your brush. Uh, rinse, wipe, swipe, then rinse it again. and wiggle it right next to your line and pull it down. You see how, how you can erase, make anything thinner? So even if you get something too fat, you come next to it, it's just almost like if you were plugged into a wall socket. This is a stiff brush. See how I made that line thinner? Okay. And I'm gonna just add a bit of white right here. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna do the flowers now. And, um, could do gold flowers. Uh, we're doing pink, but could I could have done all this in gold. Might have been pretty. Might have been a very nice, you know, some gold poppies. I think they do make kind of an orange poppy. We could have, um, you know, we had some choices on colors. Could have done some really bright orange ones, like say the ones in this. We could well, have done a couple. Well, you haven't painted them yet, so. You know, so we, do we want? Would we want to make some, you know, really bright orange? I say let's go for these poppies in here. Let's make them this bright orange color. I think that'd be pretty, right? Rather than the pink, yeah? So we're gonna start with um, a little bit of yellow and, uh, yeah, see, already I like that. I'm gonna say that this is our uh, underneath poppy. And let's say that there, um, we want some red here because we know this is a pretty deep red c color and it's going to be darker under here like this. We know where the lights and darks are on this poppy, even though it's pink. We know where the lights and, you know, it's going to be like a little bit darker there. Okay. And uh, let's do this one, a dark, bright, dark red. Let's say this is... You can never get as bright a red as if, unless you're painting over white. So we're going to go ahead and say this is our red, beautiful big red poppy here that's coming over the front of this one. Here's an interesting question. We, uh, as many of you know, we have a questionnaire out, out there right now about our website. And one of the question is, if you're not a member, why aren't you a member? And my confidence in my painting skills is quite up to snuff. Yeah, I would like to say that's really why you want to join. Yeah, that would be the main reason why. Because yeah, the ginger can get you up to speed in lickety split time. Yeah, because we start with the very basics. Yes, we go up to the top, to the. Um, to a box of cookies that would drive you nuts. Yeah, but we start with the beginner lessons. It starts you off really easy. I'm just going to just suggest where my center is on this before I dry these. 
and um, because nothing is ever um, uh, quite uh, a, a flower unless you have lights and darks, right? So we're saying that that's the uh, we're going to say that's our dark. And now in order for me to lighten or darken anything, because this is wet, I would have to um, dry it. And I'll just probably come back and paint the some of our see, that's kind of fun, right? Already. Yes and yes. And then maybe we'll put some of this color down here. I have a little bit on the top of it. Maybe this is reflecting somewhere. There's a little bit of... What orange are you using? That's a cad uh, orange uh, uh, medium. Cad orange medium. Mm -hmm. But it's a nice bright color. Isn't it kind of pretty? I'm just going to say come down here and add some of that down there. And that's... So what has to happen now is that um, somehow I have to dry this. Somehow? The, I would use a hairdryer. With a hairdryer, right? <laughs> but it has to be dried before... I can really finish the flowers, yeah. Before you put on the next and, layer. And before I pick, before I do anything else, I've got to do that. And I want to just take a second to show you something. We talked about what we do in the academy. We have different le lessons. This is one of our newest ones. If John wants to back up real quick, right? Well. This is one you've nobody's seen yet. This is going to be released next week. This have week, I seen right? It yet? Yeah, the goldfish. Oh. Are you back up? Yes, I am. See. Here's our... Uh, Look at that guy. Come on. Who and, doesn't and, like him? And is that not fun? And that's, again, tutorials exclusively in the Academy, really available for red, pink, or purple members. That will be released later on this weekend. So we've got so many different varieties. If you just never wanted to paint a flower, that's fine. You certainly wouldn't have to. Yes and yes. Okay. Do you have your waving water handy? Um, and then the wave and water, if you've got if you've got it backed up, we do something called the wave and water master class. And you don't have to be a master artist to use it, but if you do enough water and all the different ways to paint water by the different old dead artists and how I paint water, we, we we show you that, and then you find your your handwriting for water. Okay, this is on a uh, 12 by 24 canvas gallery wrap, and here's our giant. Uh, Ooh, Wait, la, la. look at that. Baby. This is from uh, Catalina Surf, California Wave, Catalina Surf. So that's again, it's painted around the sides. If you can see that, uh, when you do a gallery wrap, uh, for those of you who are selling your artwork, sometimes gallery wraps are more expensive. They are more expensive canvases, but you don't have to invest in frames, and people are much more likely to purchase something they don't have to go out and frame. It's because it's ready to hang. Yeah. So going to suggest that. So that's, again, that's going to be released this month for the Wave and Water Masterclass. Now I'm going to take a second, and John's going to answer some questions why I draw this. Okay, wait a second. Don't, 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 don't until I can mute you. Okay, hold on. Okay, she's gone. Let me um, bring over our website. This is acrylic painting with supercook.com. That is our main website. And a lot of you don't know who or what the Gazette is. It's a newsletter that we send out every Monday before a live show. And to sign up for the newsletter, you scroll to the bottom of the home page and it's done right here. Um, if you don't think you've signed up, you can do it again. It won't take you in twice. You won't get two of them. And then you can, you know, cancel at any time. It doesn't matter. And we do not do anything with your email other than you're lucky to get one email from us a week. Now, the other thing is under the blogs, you will find the past YouTube Gazette archives. And right here are all the last issues. I haven't updated the pictures down here, but all the last issues. So if you missed one, you can go catch it. And one more thing under here, we were working on what's called the the Gab, which is Ginger's Art Buzz. And in this particular issue, which some of you may not have realized, is you just scroll to the bottom. It shows you what canvases are proportional in a certain range. So this is something you want to keep in mind. So I, 
If you want to end up doing like a 36 by 48, we recommend you do it like a 9 by 12 first so you can get familiar with it. Get it laid out, work it out, work with Ginger and personal art coaching, and then you can do your big one. So oh, I just done. want to share that with you. And the, oh, the queen wants to say something. Well, oh. I just want, I, I, this comes up a lot. People say, well, do it, can I do it bigger? How do I do it bigger? If we do, a, if we give you a tutorial that's a vertical, don't make it a horizontal and then tell me that the design doesn't work for you. I spent hours on the designs on this kind of thing. And we, we encourage you to keep it proportional to the, uh, the, the paintings that you're, you know, you're doing. Okay. So we're going to go on here with the, we're going to start adding some, um, some highlights to this is a lighter orange here to this poppy here just sort of bring stridations down this way i'd like to thank julie for the donation that came in through super chat thank you ginger and john for everything julie oh thank you You're very much welcome. we appreciate it i tell you what we appreciate that very much it's um it means a lot to us and we appreciate your support whether you're just sharing your video with some telling others about us um Let's see, I want this a little bit brighter red here. This, this we're gonna Ginger, light would it take too up. long to do a class on a on YouTube and doing a wave? Uh, well, uh, yes. And the other thing <laughs> is, is that this is how John and I make our living. You guys, <laughs> we we absolutely we we don't have any other income. It's just our art school and. And, uh, and and people following our lessons, and so you know when people subscribe to us, then they can, you know, uh, get the lessons. Does that make sense to you? I mean, we just um, and the majority we, of our lessons are available as a purchase. You don't have to be a member. You can certainly just buy one or two lessons here and there as you as you see fit. Yep, you can do that too. So, and again, I'm not trying to be, we're not trying to be unkind about it, but that's, that's our thing, right? Um, that particular wave, well, that was about a three and a half hour video. Though so we have some marvelous videos on YouTube on how to paint, um, uh, on how to paint um, waves. I mean, I'm telling you what, it's terrific ones, absolutely terrific ones on, on YouTube. Um, I don't know, how, you know, I've often threatened to just take them down because I, and just move them all over to the wave and water. But I mean, if you're talking about, we've got playlists on painting water, we've got some great, um, we've got some great, um, with wonderful videos, I think, on, um, on painting, uh, on paint, on painting, uh, uh, waves, water. waves and water and all that stuff, yeah. All that good but stuff. I, I, I think that some people, are, you know, are surprised when we tell them that, you know, this is, you know, John and I don't have any retirement. This is it. You guys, this is what we do. Try to do this so we cry. We will be painting on our way to the grave. Yeah, this is what we do, you guys. So, um, and we appreciate um, the fact that, you know, we can share. I One of the things that people for years, I've been a professional artist for years, people always said, well, which, um, would you ever give art lessons? And I said, when well, I can tell, teach more people. It's just, it's a very groundhoggy day to, to just teach one person one painting at a time where but now that we have the capacity of doing uh, videos, right? Um, I can, I can, uh, I can teach more than one person. And we've got, and we have got thousands, you know, we've got four or 500 videos on YouTube that are all, I might point out that are all free, yes. And um, and we keep adding new ones every week, so we do that. So we're not. Um, let's see. Let's make this a little darker here, just around here like that. So we're getting sort of impressionistic, awesome impressionistic of poppies. Okay, yeah. like that. Painting the style that we learned from the previous two weeks. Yeah, I mean, we're just you know saying what could we. You know, what could we do here that would be, you know, uh, interesting? Uh, I know that, for instance, I want this to be darker right in here. Uh, the, the center of them, that's a sort of a uh, purple uh, color. Thank you, Deborah, for the donation that came in through the Super Chat. And she says, thanks. You're welcome. And thank you. So, again, I've just got, uh, I've got some cad yellow light, and I want to, lighten up some of this 
I'm going to move my canvas up to, got to be able to see the colors. Here we go. So I'm going to say, now we're going to start doing. Well, you got the little picture, so you know what you're. Yeah, I got the little picture. So I just need to be able to see my colors that I'm painting with here. So I wanted to make those a bit brighter. And let's do um, a little bit of green. Probably should be drawing this as I go, but here we go. There's our I like that color green. Where can I put it? Okay. So those are uh, now one of the things you want to do when you're doing poppies is that the edges can be kind of raggedy and you want to make sure that you have that uh, more of a raggedy edge. You could take a light color like that. That's kind of white that you can take something like that and just bring that in. Get a little bit of um, Do something like that. There you go. I think I want to say that these look, are a little bit darker. Look at all the colors darker. in that flower. What's that? Well, I'm just noticing all the colors you have in that flower. Oh, yeah. I got a ton of them, right? Yeah. We've got a ton, ton of these flowers in this, in this flower. And it's, and I, I think it's sort of fun, you know? Just um, uh, want to make that a sharp edge right there. So a lot of times it's as much the shape as it is anything else. Um, here's a color called cadmium. What is this one called? Um, this is a this is a cadmium yellow deep by um, Holbein, and it's a it's a it's a sort of in your face bright color. And that's what we like is in your face bright colors. Well, sometimes I do. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes I want just to suggest sometimes it. Sometimes right? flat and silly. Yeah, I mean, just just I want to suggest <laughs> it. You know, it doesn't have to be everywhere. But uh, people always say, what color should I buy? And I want to, I always well, if you're say, do flowers, you want a uh, lot of the whole Get as many breaks. different yellows and reds as you can, right? Yep. Because I would say that would be the, the thing to get. And you really get. don't need to buy the greens. You can make all your greens. Phthalo green, I think, is the only one we'd have you get, right? Yeah, just yeah. Th thalo green is probably one you might want to get, but the rest of them, you know, the you know, you don't make. need to, right? Yes, make and, all the um, So, like for instance, like this right here, I might say that this the edge of this vase here might be a little uh, wouldn't necessarily have to be white. Could be could be you know some yellow from reflected from the you know because remember glass kind of is reflective, you know, like that. Okay, something like that. So we've got, and then maybe I want something lighter still. Hard to believe, but you know, my, ooh, there's a drop of water. I didn't mean that to happen. I, I want this to be lighter down in here. Okay, kind of, let's just wipe that off. Just balance that out, right? And then let's just sneak something. Let's just sneak something back here. Okay. We could do that. Uh, could we, you know, reds are one of those colors that um, you can do it a couple of times. Have and, to build them up. And you, yeah, when you build them up, then they get, they kind of disappear on you. You can, you know, you can brighten them up a little bit. Uh, they don't all have to be the same. I mean, and this is just, uh, I mean, I think that's a lot more interesting than, um, than just some pink flowers. But if you wanted pink flowers, you know what? You could just do pink flowers if you wanted to, and that's okay too. It's not, that they're not wrong. I just thought I would give you a little bit. It's better than a white background. Yeah. And I want something a little bit lighter here.
let's just let's start bringing out some see our acrylics dry darker so sometimes you may have thought you had the um everything showing in your vase and then suddenly you go to look again and your your um flower stems have disappeared yes so you may have to go back and um lighten those up i i think that um it makes sense to me that you'd have a few um green, green leaves down here maybe of course, that fell always on the floor right that just hey if uh, you haven't entered the um contest the drawing the whatever it is you better do so now because the queen is coming to an ending so the question today, are you subscribed to the YouTube, Ginger's YouTube Gazette? Yeah. And I have to say that 98%, no, 97% of you are understood what it is. We well, this is notes. good. I think we're kind of explaining it. We, you know, we, we really wanted um, uh, that you would have the opportunity to... Um, uh, I want this to be a little lighter here on this edge. There we go. Well, that's kind of, I like that, don't you? Just, people always say, why don't you decide to do these things? <laughs> and I just, I don't know, just. And is there going to be a color surprise in here tonight? Well, the the orange and the or the orange is the color surprise, really. The, the or This orange here, this bright, this you bright think? color. Yeah. Really? And then the, with the turquoise next to it, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But you could have, like I say, I, I kind of like this this blue here, like we, you know, suggesting that we might have um, had a base that was maybe there was something. But let's see, let's see. Now, remember to, to get it to look base like. Let's take white and then flatten it out on your brush. You know about that, right? So that's sink white. There you go. Now it's officially glass. Yeah, now it's glass, right? You don't you don't need much. Sometimes you can come in with a tiny bit of brighter titanium. That was the zinc. And then in a couple places you can just do that if you wanted to. Uh, but you don't really have to to do much. Just, um, I mean, I feel like that looks pretty glass-like to me. Anyway, you know, hope it does. Hope it does to you, but it feels like it does. I think it does. And uh, again, I thought the dark in here like that. Oh, look at that, see? And, uh, I think that's pretty, I think we're pretty close. I mean, I, I think if you figure that that, this is kind of more interesting than that. <laughs> to me, anyway. Not I don't know if bit. it is to you too, but to me it's uh, more interesting than that. And, um, and we've just kind of we we took the two paintings that we you know that we uh, did last week, the pansies, and the and the violets before that, and we did similar backgrounds. And you see, they all kind of go together, don't they? They all kind of you know you get the feeling that they all do. And then, um, like uh, what was I thinking of? But um, oh. Dazzling purple, yeah. So and remember, when you're doing shadows, I was telling somebody else this in personal art coaching, um, that um, you're doing shadows, it's always lighter on the outside of the shadow and a little bit darker on the inside, okay? So you want to be aware of that. And where did my pokey thing go? Oh, I moved it. I gotta get my fancy little. John sharpened me some sticks. I could put in my. <laughs> so he could poke your paints. Here, here's here's the thing: is if you need a tiny a bit touch. of paint, rather than put the whole all the paint out, just put a little stick in there, 
and um, and just get out the tiny bit of paint that you need, you know, rather than do the whole thing. I mean, if I wanted this a little bit darker right there. How right? much of a difference would it be if you had used a light background versus what you did? It would be a totally different painting. It would be just totally different painting, absolutely. It would be a totally... Um, would be totally different. Totally. And and and, uh, but that's okay. Um, sometimes when you're painting something, what you're doing when you're painting something like this is try some different backgrounds. Work, see what you could work out, right? For instance, like for instance, I'm looking at this, going, what if I had this a little lighter here, down and over here, like this, this you know, right next to this blue here, right that blue next to that flower. Or what if I took a little bit of this purple and um, the magenta and came up here? Would that make a difference? Um, sometimes just, uh, you know, maybe I want to say that there's something lighter back here, like that on the table, just to give a little bit more. Um, look at that, see? There's. I'm telling you what, you can play... This is the wonderful thing about being an artist is, you know, you could look at something and say, could I make it, you know, what, do a different painting if you want to do something different. What can I do to it? Yeah. Could, could you do a different painting? Could you do, you could do it this way and then maybe do another background? How many different backgrounds could you come up with? Maybe do this a few times. You'd probably find out ones that you really like. See, I'm going to lighten that uh, leaves up because they didn't, they didn't show up. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's the trick. I think I want something going up that way. What can you do that makes it yours? And people keep saying that I want to wanna make something and I want to paint it and I want to ha have it feel like it's, you know, mine. And yet, if you make it up completely, you run the risk of... Um, um, having a lot of mistakes in it because you know you've got there's certain things that just have to happen if it's something is is real that makes sense all right well i think i'm going to stop here john did you want to do a drawing for something i do i do and i've got 111 entrees 111 oh this is so exciting so what are people winning we are doing the uh wave and water giveaway yeah, we can only have for the first one. Oh yeah, that one. Yes, yes. We had the, the yeah. That's uh, one of our wave water. The wilderness sunrise. And by the way, if you happen to be with me, uh, I want to say a shout out to Pat who took advantage of uh, getting her uh, uh, painting that we gave a downloadable tutorial at our workshop to 30, 35 people, and. We gave you a code on how to get it for, you know, to get it for free. But we only had four of you guys contact us to get your free um, uh, downloadable uh, lesson, which I thought was sort of amazing. And and, and, the, and you want to get it before August because the coupon will then expire. So I think if you got, everybody got a little excited coming home. Yeah, and forgot about uh, us. And maybe they, they forgot just about us. Been, forgot about it. But if you haven't gotten it, for your cat on the set. That's a very nice tutorial. The canvas we did tonight is a 9 by 12. Yeah, 9 by 12. Winner of the downloadable. What was it called? Oh, Wilderness Sunrise. Yeah. Yeah, Wilderness Sunrise. And let's just. This. And the winner of that is Karen Proctor. Congratulations, Proctor. Karen. All right. And then someone's going to win a month uh, in the Academy, free month in the Academy. Let's get another number then. Yep, let's do that. I'm just going around lightning in you know, some places on this painting while John's drawing. Just going around and doing that. And where's my little sheet? Number 71. So, red member? Uh huh. Red, red member membership. For a month. And if you are a member already, well, we'll let you 
negotiate a downloadable or something. You'll get something pretty neat instead. Okay. All right. And the winner of that is Joy. Winner of a month as a as a number is that person. So, ladies, if you could use to contact us on acrylic painting with gingercook.com, we will set you up. So, Karen, you won the downloadable, and Joy, you have a month as a red member in the academy. At least you haven't signed it yet. Always make no, I haven't signed it yet because I mean, you guys, you were doing that, and I just wanted yeah, to see. Yeah, once if you I, sign it, it's all over. You know, I, I didn't want to, uh, you know, take a, um, you know, there we go. Once we, once we signed it, then I feel like obligated. Yes, you're right, but <laughs> I haven't signed it once yet, it right? Signs, no touchies. Yeah. Okay. So no touchies. All right. So we got. I don't. I don't think. I think this is sort of fun. We'll. Um, Again, Google some flowers. Maybe you want to put two different kinds of flowers in the vase. But you can see how, nice. how you can make an old masterpiece from a new photograph. Yeah, that was the whole idea and, behind yeah, this lesson. Trying to show you. And maybe, and yeah, absolutely. And maybe you, you'll you'll have an idea that's that you know makes more sense to you. But you've got the glass vase. You've got some flowers. What can you do that um, would would make a difference there? You know, that's what that's. I guess that's what I would say is that. Um, and I see one little thing I want to do, John, before I sign it. So any final questions, John, before we say Any goodnight? final questions. Why is the earth round? That's the final question? That's the final question. Oh. Well, don't I don't have know, any answer, do you? No, I don't have an yeah, answer. Because yeah, yeah. they said so. Because they said so. Maybe a pink poppy, pink poppy with a turquoise background. Yeah. I mean, the the world is full of colors, and your palette. There you go, you guys. So that's my. Did you sign it? Not signed yet. Yeah, I like that little bit of gold right there, don't you? Kind of an interesting. It gets very arty at some point. You know, I'll I'll stop and sign it, but it does get it can get very arty quick. Yes. Very arty, very quick. You know, that's a that's a good term, isn't it? Arty, <laughs> as opposed arty. to unarty. Yeah, we don't want to be unarty. We're arty people. Yeah, so I'll sign it. Here we go, using a gold Posca pen. Nice. There it is. I don't like the, the Posca. They oh, wipe off. I liked off. it. What was wrong with that one? It's not showing you up. I don't like that one either. That's not showing up. We put it down in the blue, it will. Well, yeah, maybe I'll just do a darker one. Uh, sometimes you just... We you appreciate know I mean? everybody coming tonight. If you haven't subscribed yet, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. With any luck, we'll get a hundred thousand well, before we get to be a hundred. Do you guys ever have that thing where you sign your name and you hate it? No. No. Well, it might just a scribble. One of the reasons I love the the Posca pens, right? Yeah, you can sign it fifteen you times. Can, you can do, you know, if you do a a, a sharpie, you're sort of stuck with that. Okay, no sharpie so here. Go. So I've signed it there, and um, well, I don't like that either. So, all right, stay tuned. I mean, you'll, you'll just have to watch the thumbnail, I guess, to see how I end up thumb and signing it because I think it it will it won't be in the thumbnail. Yeah, it no. won't even show up, will it? Nope. Well, gosh, all right. Be in the reference. Reference will have it. Yeah. Well, I you know this is a what what was it, Archie? Somebody used to say what a revolting. I'm going to go for white, you guys. White, really? Yep. All right. Next Monday is the 27th, and uh, oh, people want to know you can have a a show on the 4th of July. You know, one year we did that. Well, is it, does it fall on a Monday? I'm afraid it does. Then we probably will. I hope you'll join us. Fireworks with us. You know? 
One, two, three, four. There's four Mondays that happens to be in. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to have a special sort of little uh, something. Okay, so we're going to have the bird sit in. So probably we're talking about the 18th and the 25th will be our bird sit ins. There'll be longer shows. We're going to be tied to our auction start on, on the 25th. Okay. All right, I'm done. I think. Really? It's all over? I, almost. Do you not feel it's over? <laughs> no, I was just getting to the swing of things. There you go. I did put that in there. All right. All right. Enough is enough. <laughs> we'll see you guys. And thanks for joining us. Thanks for, uh, for all those views last week. Hope that uh, you'll share this video with others. I hope you found it helpful. Let's and, see if it um, and I can't wait to see exciting. what you're painting. Can't wait to see what you're doing. Let's see what you come up with. See you next week. Bye, Bye everyone. Ginger Cook, the queen of color, with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes. The queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics.